I'm First Alert 25 meteorologist Jordan Evans, and as we take you through Future Track on this Wednesday, we're going to keep isolated showers once again to the east of I-35. Once we get into that afternoon forecast, maybe some pop-ups as early as noon, but I think most of the stuff will start to fire up around that 3 or 4 o'clock hour. Again, if you live east of I-35, most of us staying cloudy and dry this afternoon. Maybe a few isolated showers well out in San Saba County too, and then we'll quiet things down going into the overnight hours tonight. So we're not tracking severe weather once again, just maybe some locally heavy rain and lightning with some of the strongest storms. So those are the better storm chances for today. Again, a 40 to 30% uh, chance if you live to the east of I-35. Now high temperatures staying below normal once again. Normal is 97 for this time of the year, so we'll go with 93 for Waco. 92 across Bell County, 91 in Bryan called Station, and maybe a couple upper 80s along the I-45 corridor or out to the west. Again, if you get a rain shower, that might help cool you down just a bit this afternoon. But the 10-day forecast, we still stay below normal for the rest of the week as more moisture works back in going into the weekend thanks to a second tropical wave. 92 for your Saturday, 94 for your Sunday. Looks like rain chances will peak on Saturday itself and then we'll start to dry things out once again Monday into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. High temperatures back into the upper 90s and we'll keep those around through most of next week too.